Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is the second part of the Drop Shadow uh, video. So if you didn't watch the first one, you might want to watch the first one. Uh, you know, I showed how to, from Corel's Drop Shadow to this type Drop Shadow. But as you can see, the, the horse kind of fades because his, his legs would be closer to the ground, so they would be darker than his head. So you've kind of got a little fade there. So if you want to make it maybe more realistically, it's very easily done. So if you didn't watch the first video again, you might want to watch that to see how we got here. And I tell you what, I don't, I think I'm going to make him a little bit taller, get him up into the neck. But anyway, to make that fade away, you can use the transparency tool, which is again, underneath your blend flyout and just go to transparency and kind of click on your item in one corner go past your item a little bit and you can see now his head washed out but you've got a handle right here that you can move up and maybe just a little bit more maybe just a little bit more you'd want his ears so let's let's move it like this oh, I'm having trouble Sometimes it's easier just to back up. We'll put it way past his ear and then bring this bar back. And you could play around with this. But this way is the torso is a little bit darker shadow like a real shadow would be. I'm going to make one more video and show how I would laser this uh, to make to get the best effect. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.